is a very popular plant. The oh, how do you even pronounce that? Garcinia cambogia or something. Yeah, we see the tea of this available everywhere or uh, supplements as well. There's one. It's a nice big one there. Yeah, this is uh, Garcinia, which means that it's related to all of my favorite fruits like the uh, mangosteen and the achacha, all that good stuff. So uh, one of them fell, so I'm guessing that this one might be kind of ripe. It's really small though. That's the thing is that when you're looking for things in the wild, it gets kind of tricky because either it's going to be like all diseased looking like that, or it's going to fall like under ripe or something. And uh, the ones on the tree, they don't look quite ready to fall yet. So let's see what we can do with this guy here. So usually with Garcinias, when it has a medicinal benefit, which they all do, uh, they're talking about the rind, not the actual fruit. But assuming this is related to all the uh, mangosteens and stuff like that, it should have a fruit in there too, right? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of piddling. Uh, it looks like it's all rind with like a little seed thing in there. That might just be because this is such a small one, but... Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of something in there, so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be any good. It's just like a little teeny bit. But it's actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, I thought that was just going to take taste like you know, underripe, like garbage. But uh, not a whole lot of fruit in there. But it tastes like mangosteen. Very similar to mangosteen. Maybe a little weaker. Not as sweet. It's got a little more sourness to it, but pretty good, actually. That's actually not bad at all. And just really, I mean, you can see like where I took the fruit out. There's like nothing in there. I'm assuming that if you get one of the bigger ones, it's going to be uh, better than that. This one, as you can see, is a little diseased, but maybe the at least show you like what the inside can look like when you're not dealing with such a small fruit. Yeah, there you go. See, that one's bigger. Okay, so yeah, if you get a bigger fruit, you're going to get more edible bits on the inside. So. Yeah, again. Quite good. Um, I mean, the flavor on this one... This is maybe a little bit more mature. And tastes a little sour. But yeah, kind of towards like mango steam. And maybe a little bit like mango as well. It's got like a sourness the way mango does. Uh, and just for the hell of it, I'm going to eat some like the flesh on the outside. Actually, not bad. Um, if you eat the the rind on the outside of a mangosteen or acha cha or like any of that stuff, other garcinias, it tastes you know just like astringent and painful and bitter and terrible. This um, isn't giving me any dry mouth or anything. It tastes like a very tart Granny Smith apple, very like appley tasting. So um, yeah. Surprisingly not that bad. I'm surprised that this is such a popular thing medicinally and no one seems to actually eat this fresh just for the fruit that it is. But um, just having this now, having the fresh one, I can say that it's it's pretty good. It's worth, uh, certainly worth picking up. Not a whole lot of flesh on the inside, so I can see like maybe, sorry, mosquitoes are like, killing me. Um, hopefully eating this thing is going to ward off the malaria and the dengue that I'm surely going to get from all these mosquitoes in here. But, um, so maybe I'll keep eating these things. But it's, uh, yeah, pretty good. Not bad at all. Tastes, uh, tastes quite nice. I guess, like, there's not, like, a whole lot of flesh in there to, to eat, so maybe that's why you don't really see it commercially. But, um, if you're willing to put in a little effort to, like, pick out the fruit in there, and you can even use the rind. I can see this being something that people would actually buy from a store and eat as a fruit, not as a supplement. I don't know what kind of benefits it actually has as a supplement. People seem to go crazy about this thing. 
but uh, as a fruit, which I'm here for, talking about like what fruit tastes like and not what it's supposed to be doing for you, like holistically or whatever, um, the fruit is good. Hey guys, do you want to see the next video right now? Well, you can. Just uh, go to my Patreon page. Just for one dollar, you can see next week's episode one week early. There's also a whole bunch of other bonuses you can get, like exclusive content, getting weird stuff in the mail, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Uh, and this really does help me out. All the money I make goes towards producing these videos. So all the the traveling that I do, all the fruit that I buy, all the equipment that I need, you know, that is all Patreon money. So without that help, this series would not be possible. So if you want to help me out, if you want to get some cool stuff, just click on that link, click on this video, and you can learn more. Thanks so much.